It was a big night for Matt Ryan and Boston College. A chance for the entire college football universe to see if Ryan is for real as a Heisman Trophy candidate and if BC was worthy of its number two ranking in the BCS, visiting number eight Virginia Tech in a driving rainstorm. Sean Glennon at quarterback for the Hokies, scrambling, throwing, end zone for Eddie Royal, no signal, and then the signal for the touchdown. Watch it again. Royal appears to get just his left foot in as he makes the catch. Tough to tell, although not right there when we do that for you. You only need one foot down in college, John. I used to do some college football. <laughs> I saw that coming. 7 0 Virginia Tech. So with the Hokies, Glennon playing well, Matt Ryan would struggle. Again, the conditions not exactly conducive to padding your passing stats. Flush from the pocket, hit by Orion Martin. Matt Ryan fumble. But it's recovered by his own guy. Loss of 13. Boston College with trail at halftime. 7-0. Trailed at the half for the first time all season. Out of the third. Ryan throwing sideline or right to Brandon Flowers. Ryan just 14-33. 101 yards in the first three quarters. Out of the fourth. Boston College is still down 10-0. Here's Ryan. Pass picked by DJ Parker. Ryan angry at himself. That would be likely the last mistake he would make. 2.17 left. Here come the Eagles. Ryan to Rich Cannell. Touchdown. It's a 10-7 game, and here we go. Onside kick. The kick hits Virginia Tech's Josh Morgan. BC's Tyron Pruitt falls on it. Eagles ball on their own 34. We reset the highlight. Two timeouts, 207 left. Ryan just 20 of 45. BC needs a score, trailing by three. Ryan to Brandon Robinson for 20 and the first down. This is the Vatek 26. Ryan flush the pocket, eludes the rush. Remind you of anybody back there? A little taller than Doug Flutie, but scrambling. Hits Kevin Challenger on the sideline for 12 yards. That's the first down. 36 ticks left. Ryan. Scrambling again. Throws end zone to Gunnell. Touchdown. Right? Wrong. Holding Boston College. No touchdown. So Ryan's got to crank it up again. Third and 20 at the 24. Again, great protection from that offensive line. Again, forced to scramble, elude attackers, and then across his body to Andre Callender. Touchdown. This one would count. Again, this will conjure up some memories of a certain Doug Flutie touchdown pass. Not as deep, but when you consider the implications. Boston College remains perfect after the comeback was complete. Aaron Andrews with Matt Ryan. What was the difference for you in those last two drives? Well, you know what, guys stepped up and made plays, made big catches. Brandon caught the ball in traffic, did such a great job. And, you know, we just, we just kept confidence the whole time. We, we stayed confident and came away. This was, uh, this was a hell of a win. Coach says you're a guy, your mindset, your face doesn't change, but what was your mindset as time was winding down? Well, you know there's still time left on the clock. You know you still have a shot and you, you still got a chance. We've been in this situation so many times through the course of the year in, in practice, and we've prepared ourselves really well. Steve Logan does a, does a great job uh, as our offensive coordinator and, and getting us ready for those situations. So we were prepared to do it, and uh, we just came out and made plays. What did you feel you proved here tonight? <sighs> Well, I don't know about that. I don't know if we proved anything. We just won another ACC game, and, you know, we're trying to keep winning and, and keep making strides to get into the ACC championship. Guys, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, this was Boston College's first real big challenge of the season, and the Eagles survived. Now they can get four straight games against their conference opponents, all of whom are above 500, but all of whom also have suffered at least two losses in ACC play. If BC gets through that, they'll play in the ACC championship game December 1st before they could possibly punch their ticket for the title game. On ESPN2, Chris Peterson and Boise State looking to stay undefeated in the WAC, taking on Fresno State. First quarter, Boise State down seven. Ian Johnson missing his second straight game. DJ Harper, one of two refreshmen, freshmen replacing Johnson. 122 yards rushing in the first half. Nice replacement to the fourth. The other freshman to replace Johnson is Jeremy Avery. He bounces outside and he's gone. Avery 124 yards rushing, three touchdowns. Boise State 34-21.